All right, hey guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your hard drive to your computer uh, without uh, using a Xbox data migration kit. And by hard drive, I mean your HDD, which is what it says on the front. It is this thing right here. Uh, I have a 20 gig because I didn't buy it new, but it will work with any size, so instead of paying Xbox 20 bucks, get it for free. So, basically, I mean, you should have all these things, but if you don't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you should have them. So, what you're going to need is obviously your Xbox hard drive. You're going to need one Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need a... T Torx 6 screwdriver you're gonna need a Torx 10 screwdriver and you're gonna need one portable hard drive if you don't know what it is it's uh, basically a hard drive that you plug into your computer and you back up all your files you should have one laying around somewhere I just found one laying around so I decided to use that one uh, if you don't already have one, I would suggest getting one. Just back up your computer just in case anything ever happens. Uh, they usually come like 320 gigs. Huh. But, yeah. So, basically the first step you're going to have to do is take apart uh, both hard drives. So, I took apart my portable hard drive first just because... I decided to do that, but you can do take apart either one. This one is easier to take apart. So basically, I've already taken it apart, but this is what you really need. This is the hard drive, which is this hard drive actually looks exactly the same, but this is the hard drive from the portable hard drive. So you don't need that for purposes of this video. You just take it apart, it'll be in a plastic casing like this. You just need to use your Phillips screwdriver, unscrew two screws, and you'll be good to go. And those two screws will be like this. Now, not all portable hard drives will be the same, but yeah. So, it will pretty much look like this, and then the adapter that you need will be up here. And the two screws that you want are going to be right here and right here. You just want going to want to unscrew them. That enables you to take off your hard drive. And again, you don't need this. So, get that out of the way. Uh, pull this off. It'll be attached by some metal prongs like this. As you pull it off, it may be a little stubborn. Just pull it. Don't be afraid. And this is what mine looks like. Uh, probably won't be as big on yours as it, if it's a newer version. But this is like a really old hard drive. So, But it doesn't really matter. You just need this. So once you do that, you want to remember to keep all your screws in a safe place that you know where they're going to be going. So after you do that, you're going to want to take apart your Xbox hard drive. So basically, the outside ones are gonna be the Torx 6. So Torx 6 fits perfectly. And you just wanna take apart this screw, or take them off this screw, this screw, this screw, and then the, take off the sticker and there'll be a screw under it. So I'm just gonna take them off and come back when it's done. Alright, so I'm done taking off all the screws. Remember, peel off the sticker right here. Uh, the sticker. Actually, you can't really see it. But it's going to look like this. It says Microsoft on it. Peel it off. Take off that screw. And you want to have it facing up like this. And gently pull it off. So a little bit hard, but you just want to do it gently so nothing breaks. Alright, so here's the inside. 
keep this obviously but yes so here's the inside of the hard drive D don't want to move this around too much um, and make sure at least springs get loose and the button stays on and here's where the Torx 10 comes in and all these ones inside you're gonna need to take off this plate right here so I'm gonna take off this screw this screw this screw and this screw and I'll come back when I'm done with that all right so now I got all the four screws off so I'm just gonna take this off carefully and this uh, is what it's gonna look like so basically this is what you uh, this is basically what the thing you took off from your portable hard drive is except this runs to an adapter like this as the portable hard drive runs to adapter for USB um, also let me just say I did have to, during I did do this part before um, but I ran into some technical difficulties uh, the old hard drive was so old that the prongs as I showed you that actually isn't on the Xbox it's a newer type so I had to use a newer hard drive uh, to do this but that's alright just because I mean it's a good fit I already tested it so just make sure it's actually not those prongs sorry if I misled you before but um, it shouldn't be prongs it should be I'll show you in a second what it should be so basically you just want to take this black part and pull it off and take the hard drive and just pull it on out and you're gonna need to get it over these things and it should pop right out um, and this is what it should look like your hard drive so uh, this is what the adapter should look like also so now, once you do this, all you this is the easy part. You just take this and stick it on and put it in. Make sure you're doing the big side on the bigs, like on the longer ones. Should snap in. And now all you have to do is take your connector cable and plug it on in and now I'm gonna go to the computer to show you how to access it so let's go alright so now once you're on your computer you're gonna want to take your Xbox hard drive with the adapter uh, with the cable plugged in and plug it into your computer however the adapter is however your hard, uh, external hard drive uh, P to P PC adapter was made so it may be USB or it may be like Firewire I don't know but uh, as you can see it is running and if I feel my Xbox hard drive you can actually feel it moving uh, it should be it may not but I could just feel mine now you're gonna need a program called export 360 I'll give you the link for that and you're gonna want to open this before you open it or how you open it is you want to right click on it and you want to run as administrator or else it won't work sorry about the way this is I still haven't figured out a way to uh, a good way for to put my camera so it's a good like position but yeah so once you open it, it'll pop up with a little thing and it should show your hard drive. Just say OK. And there it is. If I open that up, there's all my files. So, that's how to access your Xbox 360 hard drive on your computer. Uh, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe. Bye guys.